Today we're breaking down the differences between, you guessed it, you can book me and Calendly, two different scheduling tools, only one can reign supreme, but which is the better choice? The scheduling software you pick is going to depend on what you'll be using it for, how much customization you need, and how much you want to pay. Let's see how these two compare, feature by feature. You ready? Okay, let's dig in. We'll start with a quick overview of each tool. Calendly is a scheduling tool made for varied and complex scheduling requirements. It's aimed at enterprise businesses that means large ones who schedule a lot of external and internal meetings between departments. We're talking busy and complicated. You Can Book Me is a customer-focused scheduling platform for small to medium-sized businesses. It packs lots of powerful features into a hassle-free scheduling solution. It makes creating booking pages quick and easy. First, let's jump into pricing. You Can Book Me keeps it simple. Our basic plan is free forever, no credit card required. However, if you'd like to upgrade to premium features, we offer four flexible pricing options to fit any budget, starting as low as $7.20 a month. Calendly, on the other hand, has three pricing tiers, free $10 and $16 per user each month, with enterprise plans starting at $15,000 a year. Now, if you're an individual, the price difference between You Can Book Me and Calendly is pretty negligible, but if you're running a small business like a beauty salon with a team of five, you'll see a real difference in value. With You Can Book Me, you'd only pay $18 per calendar per month with our team's plan. So for example, if you have one calendar for hair appointments and another for nails, your team can access both without paying for each individual user. That means as your team grows, you don't have to worry about adding or removing seats everyone can use the calendar and your costs stay the same. Plus across all plans, You Can Book Me is about 20% cheaper than Calendly, giving you more bang for your buck. For teams too big to benefit from Calendly's individual pricing, but not quite big enough for enterprise plans, You Can Book Me offers a much better deal. Next, let's talk about workflow. You Can Book Me has a non-modular workflow, while Calendly has a modular system. But what does that mean exactly? You Can Book Me combines all modules for creating pages in its booking page creator tool. This includes booking forms, notifications, style, and appearance. It also has a live page preview. These two features make You Can Book Me easier and faster to use than Calendly. If you're not a technical person, you don't need complex page creation workflow. Now, Calendly has modular tools. They're organized in different tabs. This is good if you're an admin managing calendars for a big corporation, but we gotta say it's downright confusing for beginners and smaller teams. You Can Book Me wins this round. Okay, next up is more personalization and customization. The TLDR, You Can Book Me comes out on top because it has more features than Calendly. You Can Book Me lets you choose how you display your availability. You can choose between a month view and two different day views. You Can Book Me can auto-detect user location and adjust the booking page grid language with 44 supported languages. There are only nine language options with Calendly. What happens if the language you do business in just isn't there? And if custom colors are what you want for booking pages and you should because they 100% have to match your brand, they're unlimited with You Can Book Me. You will get a few choices from Calendly, but you'll have to sign on to a premium plan. You Can Book Me gives you a custom domain and lets you add a footer to booking pages that can contain your social accounts, website URL, and contact details. You Can Book Me also offers completely personalizable automatic notifications. This is where you can stylize email text, add your logo and images to emails, and include hyperlinks. You can also personalize messages for each customer using their information from the booking page or website forms. You Can Book Me also offers the option for invitees to overlay their own availability to yours. This means only the times that both of you are free will show, making scheduling much faster and easier. A lot of Calendly options are similar in functionality, but they're locked unless you decide to purchase a premium plan. I gotta say it, You Can Book Me comes out on top again, hands down, if you're not planning to sign up for a premium plan. Next up, let's talk money. How easily can customers hand over their dollars using a credit card when they book meetings or appointments? Let's look at how these two options stack up when it comes to accepting payments. The good news is that both Calendly and You Can Book Me both offer Stripe for customers to take payments for bookings. You Can Book Me has optimized its Stripe integration to include features like offering promo codes and sending receipts for payments. Bookers can also pay using Apple Pay and Google Pay. But here's a pro for Calendly. It does allow you to connect PayPal if that's how your customers plan on paying you, but when it comes down to it, You Can Book Me offers more flexibility relating to the messaging and workflows you can set up when taking payments for bookings and civic services. To finish off this Who Would Win video, let's talk about integrations. You need scheduling software that fits into your existing workflow because you don't want to say goodbye to the apps you already have. Your booking software should adapt to you, not the other way around. Calendly offers 125 native integrations, while You Can Book Me has nine, Calendly is more flexible if your team uses an elaborate tech stack, but we have a gut feeling you won't be held back with You Can Book Me because it works with more than 1,500 Zapier integrations. I'm just going to say it. I think You Can Book Me is the clear winner here. Which scheduling software are you choosing for your business? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to hit that follow button.